Hello, students. Okay, we are going to read the story from our workshop book now. Um, our genre is fantasy, and I think if you look at the picture, you can tell me how you know it's fantasy. So if you'd like to put um, this video on pause and you can tell someone in your house how you know this is a fantasy story and tell them whether or not fantasy is fiction or nonfiction. So the question we're looking at is how can we classify and categorize things? So we're going to read about how some farm animals sort hats and to sort is to put them in um, certain groups or categories. All right. So the story is called A Barn Full of Hats. One day, four farm animals found a box in the barn. They opened it up. What was inside? Hats, hats, and more hats. Go ahead and take a look at the picture. And boys and girls, I'd like you to read along with me. I should have said that beforehand. But while I'm tapping the words, you can read just like we do in class. Go ahead and look at the picture on page 123, and let's read together this time. Here we go. Ready? Read. Look at all those hats. Who wants one? Asked Hen. I do, cried Horse. It's smart to wear a hat. A hat will keep the sun out of my eyes. I hope, boys and girls, you were reading with inflection. When you got to the exclamation point, did you have excitement in your voice? And when you got to the question mark, did you hear a question when you read? Okay. Take a look at the picture. Ready, read. Hen stuck her head in the box. She pulled out a flat, round hat. Try this hat, Hen told Horace. No, that hat is too flat, said Horace. A flat hat makes a good nest, clucked Hen. So she took the hat and she marched away. Look at the picture. Pig pushed his head in the box. He pulled out a bright red hat. Put on this hat, Pig told Horace. No, that hat is too red, said Horse. A red hat looks fine, grunted Pig. So he put on the hat and he marched away. Cat poked her head in the box. She pulled out a thick yarn hat. Try this hat, Cat told Horse. No, that hat is too thick said horse. Thick yarn is nice, said cat. I will take the whole hat apart so I can play with the yarn. She dragged the hat away. So many hats, but none for me, sighed horse. Just then, Farmer Clark came into the barn. His hat was large and floppy. If only I had that hat, said Horse. That hat will shade my eyes. Horse grabbed the hat in his teeth. Farmer Clark laughed. He put the hat on Horse. It stayed on with no trouble. It fits well, Farmer Clark said. Horse trotted to the barnyard. Clip, clop, he held his head high. Yes, this is the hat for me. Okay, said Horse. Ooh, I almost forgot to finish the story. So the connections that you can make in this story after you are done reading with me, if you want to rewind the video a bit and look again, you can, or read it again, that's fine. So. To make connections, I'd like you to, after you're done with this video, talk with someone about how you can classify and categorize things to wear. I'll give you a hint. You often have different drawers for different things that you wear in your dresser. Okay, thank you.